this time of year, one of the resolutions we wrestle with is the desire for a, quote, better body. But instead of focusing so much on this, what if we focused on being happier, being more empathetic instead? That's what today's episode of City Line Real is all about, ditching the number and figuring out what just makes you feel good. So to help with all of this, I brought in a few friends. We've got JC here, Nyati, Darlin, and Eva hanging out with us. Okay, so thank you so much for joining us, everyone. I would love for you to give us even another round of applause, because we're going to be talking. Go for it. Thank you. We're going to be talking about things that make us all a little bit nervous. So audience, look at us. Look at this whole line of women and tell me, do you think we have something in common? And whatever it is, just shout it out. What do you think we have in common? We're all gorgeous. Oh, that was the right answer. We're all gorgeous. Anything else? Curvy. Oh, we're curvy. OK, well, I'll tell you the answer. Why don't actually we drop the covering? OK, sexy, I'll take it. The thing we all have in common is we are all the same weight. 185 pounds right across the board. Give it up for everyone for showing it all on national TV. The point, weight doesn't fit all. When you think of a number, you have a feeling or a vision in your head. We all look very different. We're all carrying our weight in different ways. I think we all look fantastic, <laughs> but we're, yeah, right? We want to separate this number on the scale. We don't talk about our paychecks or our number on the scale, and we want to end this sort of situation. So let's get into it. JC is my beloved floor director. Oh my gosh, we stare at each other every day. She's still giving me my times while she's on the show. Um, did you think we were the same weight? Never. Never? Never. No, you're fit. You work at it. I do the opposite. I'm not fit. I don't work at it. And no, it never occurred to me that we could possibly weigh the same amount. And that's the whole point of this. There are people walking around with your same number, and it doesn't make any difference, right? Mm -hmm. Niati, talk to me a little bit about the number that I said, 185. How does that make you feel, and have you struggled at all with your weight? Um, well, I definitely have struggled with my weight. Um, the number on the scale really is a roller coaster of emotions, mm -hmm. especially as a child growing up. You know, it insinuates a lot of insecurities, and it makes you feel like you don't fit within the beauty standards. Um, but, you know, I'm happy that at the age of 20, I'm finally starting to appreciate my body for where it's brought me and what it is. Beautiful. That's where we want to be, and 20 is young to be there. Darlene, when you hear 185, what feeling comes to your mind? What do you, where does your brain go? I'm scared and I get nervous hearing those numbers just because I know that my weight is going to fluctuate as I get older. Um, but I mean, I try to remember, you know, when I look at myself in the mirror, I like what I see. And I've had injuries, a couple of injuries that have been major. Um, and I look good when I look at myself. So good. it's just a number. It's just a number. And where does the nervousness come from? Well, it comes from the fact that, like, I'm getting older and I, I'm, I'm at an age where, you know, I'm thinking about having a family and I'm thinking about my physical capabilities, uh, pregnancy capabilities, and mm -hmm. my back hurts, my knee hurts, <laughs> my foot hurts, and yeah. I'm thinking about those things, so I get nervous. I get it. I get nervous about this because I was not... I wasn't excited about coming here and telling everyone my weight, believe it or not. I said to the producer when she approached me and said, can you just come on the show and talk about, like, what actual number is on the scale? And I was like, oof. And the reason why I was like, oh, is because we have a number and we think of something associated with that number. You hear that someone's 220 pounds, you think, oh my gosh, they're unhealthy. You hear that someone's 185 pounds, all of a sudden you're looking at them differently. Maybe they're not looking at me like I'm fit now, they're looking at me like I'm overweight. Yeah. So that was my issue and that my nervousness with being here. But the point of this is so that we can start to dissociate these ideas of number and a category. Eva, how do you feel being here right now talking about weight with all of us? It's a very frustrating topic. So yeah. I am postmenopausal. It has been three years since I've had a period. I have to say that because of my age. Yeah. And with that frustration comes with the fact that I don't know where this weight gain came from. Mm -hmm. And at times I feel like a failure. 
but I just don't feel like a failure as well. I feel like the medical community has failed me because there is nothing, no, no studies, no work going into health when we're menopausal. Mm -hmm. So that medical community has failed us. And then I hear people say, well, that's normal. Well, erectile dysfunction is also normal, but somehow we get a little blue pill, so I want my blue pill. <laughs> got the BMI at bros yes. and believers who think this is the only thing that measures health. Right. And then you have diet culture that preys on us because of this. So it's all a big vicious circle and I feel frustrated, which I'm sure a lot of us do as well. Well, let's talk about BMI for a moment. We all know what it is. We talked about it with the audience before and this is sort of the measure used to show your health. So we are all in the overweight and obese scale at BMI. Do we look obese? No. <laughs> so th it's an interesting thing that we're about to talk about right now. According to my BMI, I'm supposed to be between, get this, 118 and 156 pounds. When I walked down the aisle for my wedding, I was 125 pounds, clavicles popping, hip bones popping, lightheaded, about to faint because I was eating a piece of chicken and a piece of lettuce every day. I was starving myself at the BMI I am supposed to be at right now. So we need to talk a little bit about BMI. First, I want to say thank you to my fearless soldiers for joining me up here. Well done. We want to talk about BMI and we want to talk about weight. Weight has come to be feared as one of the greatest threats to society. It's called fat phobia. And usually when the topic of weight comes up, so does body mass index. According to the BMI chart, all of us are overweight or all of us are obese, but a new look at the BMI shows it is flawed. And I think we can all see this.